Watch, Wanted Kentucky Thug Tries Escaping from Cops, Brings Horrific Karma on Himself. Most of us can agree that criminals are stupid, and one Kentucky thug with multiple warrants proved exactly that when he tried to escape from the cops after being pulled over for wrong way driving. Now, the clip of his attempted escape has gone viral after he brought a dose of horrific karma on himself. According to local news source COA, police officers from Bellevue, Kentucky attempted to take 55-year-old Eugene Lydell into custody on December 5, 2017, after he was pulled over for going the wrong way on Interstate 471. Lydell reportedly had more than one outstanding arrest warrant and wasn't about to be taken into custody peacefully. Unfortunately for him, that might have been the better option considering the karma he'd face when he fell off a bridge instead. Yes, you read that right. This punk was hit with karma in the worst way, taking a shocking 40-foot fall. Typically, the liberal hand ringers would come out and force to defend Lydell and say that the cops pushed him off the edge of a bridge causing him to fall 40 feet to the ground, but the body cam footage released by the Bellevue police puts that argument to rest. After watching the video, which was also uploaded to LiveLeak, it's very clear that this was a self-inflicted catastrophe. Just when one officer tried to put Lydell in handcuffs, he can be seen in the clip fighting to get loose. Then, as the thug slips out of the officer's grip, he gets a bad idea and goes with it. Lydell tries to run from the cops on top of the bridge behind where his truck was pulled over. Lydell evidently didn't see the debris on the road as he was trying to make his escape from the officers. In a split second, he can be seen bolting from the cops, and then, he was gone. A few seconds later the footage from the body cam continues as a canine unit is seen going down under the bridge to locate Lydell. I can just see him trying to explain this one to other inmates, well, I got pulled over and then ran from the cops and then tripped over debris and fell off a bridge. That hardly paints a picture of a tough guy, but shockingly, after falling 40 feet to the ground, Lydell got up and ran into the woods. However, his escape would be brief. Just when the punk didn't think things could get any worse, they did. The canine officer and his dog quickly caught up with him. And then, it was time to handle business. Police said that Lydell put the dog in a chokehold in an attempt to break off the attack. Get off my dog, get off my dog an officer can be heard yelling at Lydell. He's biting me, Lydell could be heard screaming in reply. Now, if you ask me, it would have been far less painful for Lydell to surrender peacefully while he was still on top of the bridge and before the canine bit him, just saying. Lydell is truly a good example of how stupid criminals usually are. To top it all off, officers then tasered Lydell before putting him in handcuffs. After the incident came to an end, one officer said, I thought he was dead. I mean he fell over and it was a flat smack right on his back. I don't know how he's still living, I'm going to go out on a limb here and guess that some kind of narcotic was involved. Lydell survived a 40-foot fall, then got up, and ran which proves he wasn't feeling much. As Lydell was finally being taken into custody, one officer could be heard saying, Hey man, you need to stop rolling around. You just dropped about 40 feet, alright? Lydell was transported to St. Elizabeth Hospital and Fort Thomas, then to UC Medical Center to be treated for his injuries. He was cited by Bellevue Police with a misdemeanor resisting arrest charge. Since nothing else seems to get through to the Black Lives Matter crowd, maybe a video like this will. Just comply with police. It's better for everyone involved. Having an officer shoot you might be the least of your worries. Karma could quickly pay you a visit instead, and you'd have no one to blame but yourself. But yourself.